they have a little clog up in their ear this morning. Mm -hmm. It's time to move on. Yeah. Oh, we can go many ways with this. I'm going to take it to a natural aspect and I'm going to take it on a spiritual. I'm seeing that when I speak, talk, or just think on things, I find myself taken into a spiritual level. I have conversations with anyone within my home, my husband, my children. I said, well, I gotta take it to a spiritual level. I gotta look at it on a spiritual aspect because my mind is holy. My thoughts are holy. So even though things are, they come at, it, at us on a natural aspect, we have to train ourselves to look at it in a spiritual. Take it to the spiritual because we walk in the spirit. So therefore, looking it, looking at it on the natural side or personal side of you, and then crossing over to the spiritual side of you. So I'm not knocking nobody's point of view this morning. Not knocking nobody's thoughts on natural things. But we're talking about moving on. We're talking about not holding on to things, letting them drop off, allowing God to sanctify us some more and refill us some more so that we're able to continue on this journey. So being filled with the Holy Ghost, it gives us the natural side and spiritual side of things. So therefore, I'm able to explain it better to those I'm speaking to, because everybody is not saved. So therefore, when we, even when we're witnessing to the unsaved, they're in the natural. So we have to be able to relate to them. It's not all about throwing our knowledge of wisdom of being saved on them. It's all about understanding what they're in at the time. And being able to bring them to the knowledge and understanding of God. Yeah. We're moving on. So therefore, so with that being said, it's time to move on. Let's see the both natural and spiritual aspect of this phrase. And we are going to, I and the Lord, are going to point them out to you. To help you see whether you're still holding on or whether you're actually moving on. Yeah. So number one, with this moving on, at some points in our lives, we are working. We see things on different levels, develop different interests, and even in the best of circumstances, we may lose people due to the natural cycle of life. In the natural, we may outgrow people. We may have hung out with people, natural, so in other words, we're talking about mistakes. We may be hanging out, doing our thing with whomever we may be doing it with. But then as we grow and mature, we may drop that person. We may become uninterested in the things that they are doing. Yeah. If they smoke and you don't smoke, you may not want to be around them. If they do drugs, you may not want to be around them. Right. These may be friends that you have grown up. I, I've grown up with some friends. I had my own friends. Unfortunately, today they're dead today. They're going on. But I thank God that I dropped them in time by giving my life to the Lord. And allowing my life to show them that there's a God that can help them from doing what they're doing. So I believe in Bible study, we were talking about, they were speaking on how um, people, you know, get saved and, you know, they leave people behind and go forward in their lives. And sometimes, you know, people try you when you tell them that you're saved. So I had a friend that once I got saved, I went on over back to their house. And growing up, I always was told 
watch who you hang out with once you get saved. Yeah. Because 